What's going on guys, I'm back with a video showing you how to create iFinity displays with a laptop. So then what you do is you right click and you go to your AMD Catalyst control center. For me I am using a E2 Vision from AMD and that works fine, it's quite a standard model which is quite incredible you can do this with such um, a budget laptop. So we're going to go to um, the iFinity tab and go to create iFinity display group, click on that. Now I actually have two monitors hooked up but the recording software is only showing one at the moment. But click on your main one which for me is the one on the left, so click on that, continue and then it'll apply your changes. Now I'll ask you if you want um, the second monitor above or to the side. Now I'm going to have mine to the side, but I'm going to have to record, stop the recording and then come back again to record, record the new resolution. So just click continue. So when you've done that it will tell you that you have made one very wide screen display. We'll just go to screen resolution and check that. And yes, it is two monitors it's recognised as in 2756 by 768 and that's pretty pretty good to, ha to get that because everything seems so much larger and detailed. Now there are now more options you can do so you can set preferred display, create which you've just done, position the windows taskbar so you can have it just on um, just on the left hand side for me or I want to go back and undo that because <laughs> um, I like it across both of them. Like that. You can also arrange them. So you click on the which one's blue, so that one's there for me. Um, you can disable it, which I don't want to do. You can adjust bezel compensation. This is quite nice. Um, if it'll let me do it, there you go. Now you can just get it perfectly correct so um, there's no. So, so it basically things hide behind the bezel, it's quite nice. So you check that. Um, yeah, and then you can customize the resolution perfectly, but I've already got it how I like. And if you're running Windows 8, like I am, it's really nice software. Uh, it's a big change, but it's great. If you go to the start menu, there you go. It's all huge. And there's all the, the apps. Can I close, there you go. It reminds me of Android this really, but not that I've ever owned an Android phone. Um, see if we opened up Photoshop, we'll see how programs react to the new resolution. It's quite interesting. And basically you've got Photoshop in super, super, super widescreen and it's just great fun to mess around with. So thank you so much for watching my tutorial on getting iFinity displays of a laptop and I hope you subscribe to my channel and yeah, goodbye.